Hey, what is up guys? I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So in today's video, I am once again going to be playing free horror games made by you guys. So if you guys want me to play a horror game of yours that you've recently made or that you've made in the past, uh, I do have a Google form which you can find in the description below where you can submit your game. And so uh, yeah... But anyways, two of these games today that I am playing are from the Google Form submissions, but one of the games that I am going to be playing is actually made by a friend of mine. They didn't ask me to play it, but I just wanted to play it and give my thoughts on it. So uh, yeah, so I've got uh, three games here to play today. And also, um, speaking of horror games, I have made a new horror game of my own recently called Cook Me Breakfast. It's a very short game, well, you know, sort of short if you just get one or two of the endings, but there's 12 endings in the game now. Um, I have uh, updated the game a few times over the past few days. It started off with eight endings, but a few updates later, it now has 12 endings, so I don't know if I'm going to be adding any more in any future updates I may do for the game, but uh, yeah, be sure to go check it out and try get all the endings if you want to. And without further ado, let's get into our first game. Alrighty, so the first game we're going to be playing today is a game called My Best Present, and it is made by Epic Horrors. And as you can see in the bottom left here, it also says Welcome to the Game, Lockie. Um, you know, it reads out your desktop username, so do be careful of that if you're someone who's like, you know, streaming or recording a video and you have your, uh, you know, your personal name show up here if you don't want other people knowing it, but yeah. So anyways, let's go new game. And here we are. So the first thing that I've noticed is the textures. Um, they feel very much like my other games which I've made, and oh, we've got like a robot here. But yeah, um... If you've played some of my games before, you've probably noticed this same sort of like texture style with the materials and how the normal maps are. And I'm guessing that's probably because Epic Horrors has watched my tutorials, so they've probably gotten uh, inspiration from them. But yeah, so we've got like this robot here which is like following us. And apparently this game was made in a day as well, so yeah. Alright, so we can sprint as well if we want to. So yeah, I'm not too sure what we're meant to do in this game. It's like a little mazy type of area. It's just made out of cubes and stuff. But yeah. Can we open up anything? Nope. How about the robot? So he's just meant to like follow us around basically. Anyways, um, oh, we got like a white portal here. And that is it? Is that it? Is that the end of the game? Menu, and uh, I think that might be it. Yeah, no, I think that's literally just the whole game. Alright then. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I think that's literally the whole game. Honestly, um... And also, another thing which I just noticed too is there's like no sounds. There's no sounds in this game either, but yeah. Honestly, um, I expected more to this, um, but you know, um, I don't really know what to say about it, considering there's not really, you know, much going on here, other than the fact that, you know, there's, you know, some cubes, the textures, I mean the materials, textures, whatever you want to call them, you know, they sort of remind me of mine. But, um, yeah, and then we've got this robot following us around. And I'm guessing he's not meant to attack us either, because something that I've noticed is that um, when he gets close to you, it goes into an idle position. So I'm guessing that Epic Horrors probably watched my tutorial on how to make, like, a character that can follow the player. And they've probably watched that, so I'm guessing he's not meant to attack us, he's just meant to follow us. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't really think there's much else to this game. I think it was just a little simple thing that they made in a day, and uh, yeah, so that is my best present. Um, you know, very short game, I did expect more from it. I don't really know how to give an opinion on it, because there's not really much to it. But yeah, um, that's my best present, now let's move on to the next game.
Alright, so this game is called Midnight Fishing, and this is made by a friend of mine called Hadrian Dev. So this game wasn't a game that was submitted in the Google form. This is just a game that I wanted to play so then I could, you know, play it and give my thoughts on it, since this is made by a friend of mine, and I've wanted to play it for a bit of time now, but I just haven't really found the time to. But I figured I'd just play it in this video, so yeah. Anyways, let's now start. And also, I do like this uh, main menu here, like the simple main menu, and you got like the bobbing of the camera. Let's start. I'm looking for a nice fishing spot. I've been looking all day. I finally found a spot, but it's getting dark. I was stopped by some locals warning me not to fish here. Hopefully I don't upset them. I'll be done quickly anyway, so no harm done. <clears throat> Alrighty, so here we are now in the game. Um, so if we want to use the flashlight, we need to press space. Alright. Alrighty, so now we can take the fishing rod. Throw hook. Alright, now we're doing some midnight fishing. I wonder how the fishing mechanics in this game work. Like if you have to pay attention to how the rod moves and stuff like that. But yeah, so we need to collect 10 fish. 10 fishies. Oh, scroll down to reel in fish, alright. Nice, I like the mechanic. Oh, we got a fish. Yay, alright, so now we place it in there. Alright, so now we throw the hook out again. See, I'm guessing that the hook just throws out to the same place every time, no matter what direction you look in. Now we just need to wait a bit of time again before the, uh... The fishing comes on. Oh, now we gotta scroll. So yeah, we gotta do this another eight times after we get this second one. There we go. Alright, throw hook it. Oh, there's someone standing across, across from us now. Oh no, someone's watching us fish. But yeah, no, this is a neat little game so far. I like the environment. It's pretty neat. Oh, here we go. And we now have a third fish. There we go. And the guy's gone. Is he behind us? But yeah, one thing I like about this game is how, um, you know, because uh, now that I know that each time we fish is probably going to be something new popping up, you know, it, it gives me like a sort of, um, what's the, what's the word? Like it gives me sort of like a feeling to check around me to see if there's like anything around. So yeah, I do like that. Imagine like a FNAF style fishing game where you're fishing... And at the same time, you have to make sure that, you know, no monsters or anything like that get you. Alrighty, let's place the fish. And we're almost halfway done. And something which I noticed too is I think it's getting a bit darker. Oh, there's someone behind us. I'm glad I looked behind me because there's someone there. But yeah, so um, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's getting a bit darker. As I said, I, I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, I feel like it might be getting a bit darker. Just a bit. Oh, we've got a fishy, we've got to reel it in. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be a big jump scare towards the end. Which I am uh, not looking forward to. Alright. We're throwing out the rod again, and I feel- OH MY GOD! Oh my god. You died. Oh. I died. Damn it. Oh my god, that actually got me. So, I'm guessing that this is gonna be like Hadrian's previous game, where you shouldn't look around you or anything like that, because otherwise, then it will, um, you know, probably get you killed. So I'm guessing there is a way to finish the game, I just need to focus on the fishing and not focus on actually looking around my surroundings because I feel like that's probably what got me killed just then, so yeah. 
so I feel like if we just focus on the fishing, then we'll be totally fine. So let's try that again. And uh, yeah, so this time I'm not going to look around me, I'm just going to focus solely on the fishing. Yeah, I wonder if this is, um, you know, if that's how it works, if it's like Hadrian's previous game, uh, the shower one. I don't know if I played that on video, I don't think I did. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I'm not too sure, I forget now. But yeah. If you guys haven't checked out Hadrian's other games, be sure to. They are pretty good. <clears throat> Alright, so we just gotta try catch 10 fish now, and this time I'm not gonna pay attention on looking behind me, I'm just gonna pay attention solely on the fishing itself. Alright, because I'm guessing if I do that, if I just stick to fishing itself, then I'll be totally fine. Wait, did I not get a fish just then? What happened to that fish? Because I caught a fish just then, but it didn't allow me to, um, to keep it. I'm guessing it probably let itself go off the hook or something, but yeah. Anyways, let's just focus on fishing. Oh, gotta reel it in. Reel it in. And there we go. Yay, we got a fish now. Let's throw out the hook again. So yeah, um, I feel like before, when I was playing before, the game was actually getting darker the more fish I caught. Ugh. Oh, and we've got our fifth fish. See, I'm hoping that um we don't die next time. If we do die again, then I'm not gonna go for another go, I'm just gonna leave it there. But yeah. Right. Now we're going for our sixth fish. Hopefully we don't die. I mean, right now everything looks fine. Everything seems fine right now. Oh, and we died again. Alright, I'm guessing that that's probably meant to happen. If there is some sort of other ending where we can go for a 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth, and 10th fish, then, um, yeah, I'm not really too sure how to get that right now, but do let me know if you guys do end up playing this yourself, if you do end up getting it. I might even have to ask Kadrian about it myself if I can be bothered to, but yeah. Um, overall, very nice game, I do like it, and that scare that just happened just then, when, I, when that happened the first time, that really got me. But yeah, anyways, good game, and uh, yeah. Alrighty, so the last game we're going to be playing today is called Sonic EXE 3D Edition, so this is made by Malakoki Productions, and I think I've played one of their games before on the channel before, um, I can't remember if I have, but the name is familiar, so yeah, but anyways, let's check the credits, and as you can see it says, uh, credit Sonic.exe voiced by me, music taken from YouTube, Sonic model from Sketchfab, so yeah, anyways, let's now play. So we have Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. Oh, things are a bit loud. Alright, let's go Act 1. You're too slow. So yeah, this is meant to be like a 3D version of uh, Sonic AXE. Oh. We've got like a floating tree over here. But yeah, um, I'm gonna turn this down a bit, it's kinda loud. I don't, uh, like I said, I don't know if you guys can hear me all that properly right now, but um, I will check my audio actually right here just to make sure. Hold on. Alright, so I just checked and yeah, I can hear properly. I mean, like I can hear my voice properly in the recording and stuff, so I'm guessing that it's all good. But yeah, so um, as I was saying before, we've got like a few floating trees that I've noticed. I don't know if they're intentional or not, but yeah. And I'm guessing down there, that's Sonic. So we're meant to be Tails right now. Sonic don't look too good. Oh, the music has stopped. 
Oh, and hello, do you want to play with me? Well, I don't know, do I? Hide and seek. Alrighty. So apparently now we're doing hide and seek. Yeah, nah. I'm pretty sure all these trees are just like floating. Or at least a bunch of them are. Oh, what's that music? Oh, what's that music? Here I come. Oh, what are we meant to run away now? Oh. Here I come. Oh no, Sonic's chasing after me. He's coming. Oh. I can't sprint either, so I'm guessing he's probably just meant to be able to catch me. Oh. Wait a second. Uh, I think I know what's going on here. The AI's acceleration is too low uh, for the speed of the AI. That's why it's missing me right now. Because right now, the AI is... I think it's meant to be trying to, you know, catch me. But as I turn around and stuff, it like... Uh, yeah, it's sort of having a hard time turning directly towards me because of the acceleration of it. But yeah, that's just something which I noticed. Oh. Should I just let Sonic catch me, or should I just, like, keep on going towards the end here whilst turning around so then he doesn't catch me? Here I come. Yeah, you know, I'll let, I'll let him catch me. Sonic, come on, you can catch me. There we go. Seems you're a little slow. Want to try again? So what, am I, am I meant to... Am I meant to make it past him? Oh. Now we have Act 2. So, this one now is just question marks. Can't actually select it. So now we have to do Act 2, and then we've got Act 3 afterwards. So, Act 2, I think we're playing as Knuckles. Well, I've never actually played the original uh, Sonic EXE before, but... I do remember um, watching YouTubers and stuff play it. Yonks ago. Like, years ago. So, we can actually sprint now. In, uh, Act 2. So, we'll sprint. Guessing we're just meant to run forward. Alright, let's keep on going. Too slow. Oh. He's crawling after me. Oh. And he's gone. Now the game's gotten a lot more quiet. It was a lot more louder during Act 1 with all that eerie sort of music. Turn up my game, actually. It's There we go. I'll just turn up my game now because it's actually kind of quiet. I feel like these pillars here, they're just basic cubes. But yeah, I think this whole area is just made out of basic cubes. We're almost at the end, I think, because I can see something slowly, um, you know, coming more into distance as I run. So I'm just going to continue to run because it's almost in view. Alright, is this something that we're meant to get to? What is it? Oh. Oh, damn it. Found you. Endo is at the end of Act 2. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've got really loud music. I need to turn down the game. Alright, so... What? Are we meant to fight Sonic? What are we meant to do? Do I run into this? Oh. Just gonna run into him, I guess. Come here. Wow. Oh no. Oh, Andy got me. Damn it. All 
Alright, so now we have Act 3, and this is the final act. So we've done Act 1 and Act 2, now we've got Act 3, so let's do it. And uh, we've just got question marks for this act. Alright, so this is just a closed off corridor. Oh. Sonic just like spawned on me then disappeared. Oh. I am God. Yeah, I'm sure you are, Sonic. Oh. Whenever I press W it oh. Now that I've pressed mouse click it oh. Game over. Oh what? I was just like pressing a few random buttons and then um some stuff was happening. Alright guys, that is the end of today's video. Um I'm just currently recording this part of the video in Audacity at the moment since uh that last game we played, the Sonic EXE one. When we got the game over screen it ended up just, you know, shutting down the game and then the the recording stopped, my video recording stopped, so I'm just recording my audio right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, also, in case you didn't know, I also make Godot tutorials as well, and I do have a lot of Unity tutorials on my channel if you're someone who wants to get into game development themselves. And also, um, be sure to check out my latest game, Cook Me Breakfast, which I brought up at the start of this video as well. It's just a short horror game. It's got 12 different endings in it, if you want to try get all them endings. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time, and bye bye